Now it is time for us to create our own space and pages. So I will navigate to administration space as I have administrator role access. And here we can see both apps, manage launchpad spaces and manage launchpad pages. So let's open manage launchpad spaces first as we have to create space first. And we have two options, custom customer created or predefined. So predefined space is the one which SAP has already provided out of the box. And if you wanna view any standard space, so here you can search it in the search bar. For example, if I will go back to SAP Fiori apps reference library and want to search the following space, which is for manage launchpad spaces, and then copy this by control C, and then we'll paste it here in the search bar and then click search. So here you can see that the SAP predefined space for SAP Fiori Launchpad comes up in the search result. And if I click on it, so here you can see the page which is under this space. And further, if I click on the page and wanna see the content of the page, which is in the form of Fiori apps, as you can see that Fiori Launchpad. And the same information I showed you under the administrator space that we have the same page content. So let's go back and then take a look once again. So if I will open it in the new tab and then will navigate to administration or I will navigate to its page Fiori Launchpad. And here you can see the apps which you can view under the following page. So there is no difference. So that's how predefined space option works. So if you have to search any other standard space, then you can come to this tab and then search it in the search bar. Let's go back to customer created because we are going to create our own space by click on this button create. And now we have this pop-up window where we will first enter the space ID. So let's enter the space ID starting from the alphabet Z as alphabet Z is identified as a custom created object. So after that, I will enter underscore and then I will enter SP so that it can be identified as space and then underscore FIN that represents finance, then apps. And I will just enter the numeric key as one. So after that, I will enter the space description as space for finance apps. And then space title, I can enter it as space hyphen finance apps. So at this point, it is giving you the option to create a page at the same time when you create this space by marking this checkbox as also create a page. So let's click on this checkbox and then now we have to enter the page ID. So let's enter the page ID as Z PG for page and then FIN finance apps underscore one. So that's the ID and you can follow a naming convention if your organization has already provided you to choose. Otherwise, you can also propose it to the business users that this naming convention, if suits to them, then you can keep it as it is. And page description will be page for finance apps and page title will be page let's enter one and then finance apps and then scroll down and here you have to select the transport customizing request so that your changes can be saved so let's select it and hit create button so the space has been created and it is showing us page at this moment and if I go back and show you the space which we have created so that's the one and if I click on the space so it will direct us to its page and if I will further click on the page and here we can enter the page content by click on the edit button and now we have to enter the section title so let's enter it as general ledger and after that we can enter another section as accounts receivable And then another section as accounts payable. And then another section as sales and then purchasing. And after that, I will hit save. So the following sections have been created under this page. Now you can see the following message not assigned to role. So when you create a space, you must assign it to a business role. So let's do that through SAP Easy Access Screen. And then I will run the transaction code PFCG. 
And after that, I will enter the role which we created in the last lecture. And that was Z Finance February role one. And then I will click change. And now I will navigate to its menu tab. And remember that we assigned the following business catalog and group to this role in the last lecture. And by following the same steps, we have to assign the space to this role. So click on this transaction button and insert not. And then navigate to SAP Fiori Launchpad. And here you can see it's further nodes as Launchpad Catalog Group Space. So we have to click Launchpad Space. And now we have to enter the space ID which we created. And that was Z SP Finance Apps underscore one and then press enter to continue. And here we go. So this has been assigned and after that hit save to save your changes and this will also update the role now we have to go back to sap fury and then refresh our page so you see that it no longer shows the known assignment to the role so let's go back and then go back again so here you can see the role as one because this space has been assigned to one role so let's click on this and then we can also take a look at role assignment and here we are so we can see the following role id where this space was assigned and we can also see the transport customizing request information. Let's go back to page. And now I will open the page and then click this edit button. So we can enter the content or apps or tiles under a section from the rules. Or if I will choose manually select it, so we can also add the tiles directly from the catalog. So let's go back to derive from rules and let's add apps which are derived from roles for example asset accounting overview so it is asking us that in which section i want to add this app so let's select general ledger and then click add and here you can see that the tile has been added under this following section and similarly you can add further tiles one by one or alternatively you can select the apps which you want to add under a specific section so let's do that first And then we can click this button add and then we will select general ledger and then click add so you see that through this way we can add more than one apps under a section similarly you can add other apps into their relevant sections and now i will navigate to manually selected tab and show you that how we can add a tile directly from a catalog so let's first go sap fury apps reference library and then search sales order manage sales orders and you can see that it is available for sap s4 hana on premise version of 2023 and now if i navigate to its configuration tab and take a look at its business catalog so this is the business catalog information so let's copy this by control c and then go back to manage launchpad pages and then click on these three dots and select search catalogs and here you have to paste the business catalog which you copied and then press search button and here we can view the business catalog select it and then click select button and here you can see all the apps under this following business catalog and then scroll down so here you can see create sales orders chain sales orders apps so let's mark the following checkboxes against the tiles which you want to add under a section and also we can see manage sales orders version 2 app as well and then click this button add and add them under sales section by clicking add button now and if i scroll down so we can see all these apps and you can also notice the cross symbol which represents that this app is out of role context it means that the following business catalog is not yet made available to your role so how can we do that so let's copy this business catalog and i will go back to transaction code pfcg and then insert not navigate to sap fury launchpad and launchpad catalog and here i will enter the id of the business catalog which i want to access and press enter to continue and after that hit save to update the role successfully and now you can see that the authorizations tab has been turned into red 
because we assigned the following business catalog to the role. So go to authorizations tab and update the profile by clicking on change authorization data and then click this generate button. And if you have this dialog box, then again, you can click generate. And the profile has been updated. Now go back and you can see that the authorizations tab has been turned into green again. So go back to SAP Fiori Launchpad, Launchpad Pages app, and then first save it, and then refresh your page. And now if I will scroll down and take a look and see if the apps still give us the message. So the following apps no longer say that these are out of role context.